Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you can stand against the wiles of the devil and ask him for the Holy Spirit. Because when you receive him, he will give you understanding. What you don't have peace about today, you'll have peace about when you ask of him. What, what father would give his child a scorpion? You've had some scorpions in your life. You've had some scorpions. You've been stung your whole life. You've walked through places in your life where it seems like you reached down to touch something, to grab it, and you didn't realize there was a viper attached to it. And the Bible said that you, I mean, the word of the Lord was saying to you that you've been abusing yourself ever since you got stung. He said, but let me help you with something. He said, I'm getting ready to give you new power. Somebody shout, God, give her power. I need you to, I need the whole house to prophesy to her right now because I see a total makeover. I see by this time next year, you're going to be a brand new woman. I see by this time next year that some of the things that you need from the doctors that you can't get from him right now, I see some things being approved for you. Somebody shout, total makeover. I see your mind being transformed and renewed. Hallelujah. I see you seeing yourself the same way God sees you. And as we pray for you tonight, the Bible says that as you believe in me, I need you to open up your mouth, child, and say, Lord, I believe you. Say it again, Lord, I believe you. Say it again, Lord, I believe you. Somebody shall say, I renounce every lie that the enemy has told me concerning myself. Oh, God. Now ask the Lord. Say, Lord, created me a clean heart. Let me help you know something about a new heart. Watch this. God said, I got you, girl. Somebody point at her and say, God got you. I said, I got you, girl. God said, I got you. He said, because I'm going to do something for you that many people miss out on. In the book of Isaiah, he says these words. He says, I'm going to give you a new heart. He said, before I give you a new heart, he said, I'm going to remove the stony heart. Hallelujah. He said, your heart has become hard because you continue to be disappointed. Your heart has become hard because you continue to put faith in people that are not producing on the level of your belief. He says, your heart has become hard because you continue to discredit yourself. Can I tell you something, child? From an intellectual perspective, you are too smart to even think like that. You can think your way through anything that comes against you. That's why you're alive now. You got intellect. But tonight you get impartation. Tonight you get impartation. I'm going to baptize you in the fire. I'm going to baptize you in the Holy Ghost tonight. Lift your hands up and say, Lord, give it to me. I need it tonight. In the name of Jesus. And I rebuke this unclean spirit of depression. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke this unclean spirit of depression. I come against every addiction. I come against every physical ailment. I come against it tonight in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. I rebuke the plan that you have for her life. And I declare that she shall live and not die. I declare you shall live and not die. I need 15 people to shall live. Say live. Try to live. Exercise your prophetic gift and tell her to live. Stand up for me if you can. Hey, yes, sir. That's all I needed. You got up quick. You ready? You ready? Excuse me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Your joint pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your joint pain is gone. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, inflammation, it shall go tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare 
that the spirit of infirmity is gone. I declare it in the name of Jesus. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I'm healed. Tell them, I'm healed. I'm healed tonight. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to I come against this asthmatic hallelujah response to the habits that have come into this body. Hey, 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 hey. God, listen to me. Listen to me. Don't you inhale no more. Okay? Don't you inhale no more. Lift your hands up. You want to be free of it? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, spirit of addiction be gone. Spirit of addiction be gone. Spirit of addiction be gone. In the name of Jesus, spirit of addiction be gone. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Spirit of addiction be gone. I declare this is not your home. I declare this is not your home. In the I declare this is not your home. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare it's not your home. I declare it's not your home. It's not your home. It's not your home. It's not your home. God's, listen, that's not the enemy's home, but God going to make you at home. You've not felt at home for years. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But find your home in Christ. That's your original dwelling place, my child. Find your home in Christ. Find it in him. Come on, lift your hand. Lift both of them. It's going to be all right. Say, Lord, make me your dwelling place. Make me your dwelling place. Make me your dwelling place. Come into my heart tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody get me a tissue. Get me a tissue. This is going to be a sign of something. Here. It's okay. Don't you worry. I want you to do something. This is not, don't you worry about nobody. God got you. I want you to spit it in this napkin. Don't, don't grab my hand. Spit it in my napkin. There you go. Now. That's gone and everything else that you've been holding on to. Hey, hey, tonight, in the name of Jesus, it's that easy to just let it go. To just family issues is going to go tonight. In the name of Jesus, your unspoken testimony is going to go tonight. It's going to go tonight in the name of Jesus. And let me tell you something, God said, vengeance belongs to me. Vengeance belongs to me. He said, don't you carry it no more. He said, offer it to me. Offer it to me tonight and watch me do a new thing in you. Spirit of accusation, be gone tonight. You've been lying on her. Spirit of accusation, be gone tonight. He's an accuser of the brethren. And by the word of my testimony in the blood of the Lamb, I declare you a child of the King. Go on and praise him. Go ahead. It's okay. Praise him and open your mouth. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, thou hast perfected praise and increased strength because of thine enemies. Everybody in this building ought to be praising God. Give him praise in this house. Don't stop. Keep doing it. Keep praising him. It's all right. Praise him until you're free. I command every demon, every generational spirit that has haunted you in your mind and in your dreams, I declare you will not be held out on your bed any longer and can't get up. Tonight's the night for you to get set free. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, come to the altar. Come on up. We're going to pray for you. We know what to do. We know what to do. Make this a dwelling place for you tonight. Look here. Don't y'all look at me funny. When some of y'all ain't here with a spirit of insomnia, around this time of night, you ain't doing nothing but scrolling. You got insomnia and you just doing this at night, trying to find something to attract you. Don't get offended because we took a few hours. Make room for him. Make room for him. Wait on him. That's what the song says. I'm going to wait on you. He tells us that. Give him space. And don't let nobody stop you from getting what God has for you. Somebody shout, it belongs to me. 
It belongs to me. You got nothing to be ashamed of. If there's children in this building, bring those children in here and put those children at the feet of this altar. I don't care where they are. Bring them up here right now. And as the worship team is coming, please sing something worshipful. Amen. But don't shift the spirit. Don't shift the spirit. Bring these children up and line them up. I'm going to tell you something. If don't nobody leave here tonight, the kids are going to leave here free. In the name of Jesus. I said, I'm telling you, the kids are going to leave here free. This demonic activity that's being generated amongst our families, that's impacting the minds of our children, it's got to go. Somebody shout, these spirits got to go. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can you give me something in three-part strings before they sing? Hold on just a second, because I feel the spirit of privacy. Let the Lord use you tonight. Okay, don't be afraid. Don't you dare be afraid. Prophesy with that. Prophesy with it. May the spirit of prophecy rest on you. May the spirit of prophecy rest on you. Praise him with the string. Praise him with the string. Praise him with the string. What's in your spirit is of God. It's a holy thing. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the name of Jesus, you are God's minstrel. You don't have to have a script. In the name of Jesus, I anoint you tonight, amen, with the gift of worship, spontaneous worship. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, bring these children. Bring these children. Line them up across here. And I only need people praying with them. Only people praying. Only people praying. Hey, yes, sir. Ooh, we got a good one here. Yes, indeed. You see them eyes on him? Yes, sir. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are, are y'all parents? Parents to the children? Okay. I need you to pray a specific prayer. I need you to pray a specific prayer. I need you to pray a specific prayer. And I want y'all to pray this with me tonight. Hey, yeah, yeah. Starting tonight. I need every parent repeating this. Starting tonight. Our homes will be a place where our children can thrive. Starting tonight, our home will be a place where our children can feel safe to have a voice. Starting tonight, I come in and I reestablish lines of communication. I declare in the name of Jesus that my house is a house of prayer is a house of prayer. I want you to say this with me one more time. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Now, I want you to give God praise over, this, over these children right now. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. I come against every demonic attack tonight. I come against every unexplainable behavior. I come against multiple personality disorders. I come against behavioral. Hallelujah. I come against paranoia, schizophrenia. In the name of Jesus, I curse the spirit of bipolarism. In the name of Jesus, I come against fetal alcohol syndrome. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I come against it tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these children shall Shall not be victims in the name of Jesus. I speak recovery. 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 Father, you shall recover. Mother, you shall recover. You shall recover all. The name of Jesus. I declare that you will speak up, young lady. I declare that you will speak up. I declare that you will speak up. I declare that you will have a bold voice in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will not be timid, but you will be vocal. You are a leader. You are a leader. God made you that way. You are a leader. Don't you let nobody make you feel that you don't belong leading people, even boys. God has called you to lead. He's given you a spirit of discernment. Come here. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Ebasu Toko In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We mark this child with the spirit of prophecy. In the name of Jesus, I decree she shall prophesy to nations. She shall prophesy to communities. 
she shall decree and declare. I stir the gift of administration in her. In the name of Jesus Christ, she shall lead communities, organizations, and organisms. And God, she shall be your mouthpiece to young and old alike. I declare she shall be a bridge between generations. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we anoint her tonight and affirm this gift. Now lift your hands up, sweetie. He's going to give you one more. Lift your hands up. Watch this. You use these hands, both of them. I need both of them. These hands are made for worship. These hands are made for healing. Do you realize that people feel good when you hug them? Yeah. See, I don't know you, but God do. You can walk up to people and hug them and their whole life change. You know what that is? That's the prophetic. God gave you healing power. You have healing power. And I ignite that healing power in you tonight in the name of Jesus. Now, I need you to go hug that lady right there. You see that lady? Go hug her. And when you hug her, something special going to happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We call you blessed. We call you blessed. We call your children blessed. We call their destiny blessed. We call their future blessed. We decree that their college tuitions are paid for. We declare that already, it's already given them a foot in the marketplace. God said, don't bind them to just a religious environment. God said, I need them on another kind of mission field. I need them on another kind of mission field. You have worked too hard to not see the fruit of your labor. And God said, great shall be the peace of your children. In the name of Jesus, somebody in here, give God a praise in this house. I declare the devil will not have you. The devil will not have you. I declare the devil will not have him or these children. I prophesy today. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. Yes, Lord. That everything that he has seen with his eyes that would have a negative impact on him later, we stop the trauma now before it manifests. In the name of Jesus, mother, lead him, don't pacify him. Don't try to make up for shortfalls that other people made with him. It ain't your responsibility. Let him live, mold him and shape him according to the word of God. Let the word be your foundation. And I speak to every doubt and fear that has rested in your life over a period of time, causing you to think that God had abandoned you. Receive the Holy Spirit tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive him. She's all right, little man. She's okay. She's all right. She's okay. She's okay. Just hug her. Just hug her. There you go. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hey, how are you? You know, school be too easy, way too easy. You're getting bored too fast. You need a challenge. Don't be afraid of it. Don't let the lack of challenge pull you in to things to make people think different of you. Be beautiful just like God made you. Be beautiful just like God made you. Listen, great leaders ask great questions. When you get bored, raise your hand and start asking questions. If the people around you can't answer them, ask them to get you somebody who can. I declare this between you two. What is she, about 11? Okay, I, heard, I saw two ones over her head. I, I declare this to you tonight. The next three years, the enemy planned for a separation between you two. You got you to look at me, dear. Stay up. It's okay. It's okay. Because I wouldn't be here telling you this if God hadn't stopped it. You really need to praise him right now. What you thought was going to happen, which was going to be a repeat of what happened in your life, God said it will not be so with her. 
He said, the door of communication will remain open. He said, tell her. He said, tell her. You don't have to be overprotective. Just protect her. He said, he said, tell her. I have her and have her future ahead. You will not live in fear any longer. In the name of Jesus, you are being held up because you have felt less than worthy of doing things. But I see you in the realm of the spirit doing things that you told yourself you were never going to do. In the name of Jesus. But you got to put him first. You got to invite him in and make him your wealthy place. You got to make him your abode. You got to make him your all in all and the lifter of your head. Because man has let you down over and over and over again. And you're looking for something, amen, that a man cannot give you. What you need comes from God. What you need comes from God, my child. Because God will love you and only ask for your relationship, not your body. Be free tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be free tonight. Now, Father, we pray over these children. We pray over these families tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, and we declare even on this second night that, God, you're doing a new thing tonight. We declare that you are reuniting and reestablishing the foundation of the family. <laughs> Listen here now. God specializes in giving opportunity. I'm going to speak something right now. I set before you an open door that man cannot shut. Every obstacle that has been in your way, keeping you poverty bound, I come to declare that the inheritance of the kingdom of God shall be your portion tonight in the name of Jesus. I declare crop failure over every curse the enemy has tried to put on you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said, tell you tonight, even once again, that people have tried to put banishment on you and curses on you because you tried to use your own mind. But God said, I don't even want you using your own mind tonight. Let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. When you have the mind of Christ, he'll teach you how to work through it, work out of it, work over it, and run over a troop and reach over a wall. Fifteen people shout victory. Is coming to your house. Tell him victory is coming to your house. Now give him praise and hear one more time. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I need every worshiper and praiser in here right now lifting your voices unto God. Don't give me praise. Praise. Thanks be unto him. Thanks be unto him. Thanks be unto him. All oh, thanks be unto him. All oh, the glory. All oh, the honor. <laughs> but bless this child as you've already blessed her. Bless this child as you've already blessed him. Hey, man, give me your hand. God gonna take the label off of you. Whatever people have tried to label you for, God said, I'm going to pull you forward. You're not going to be seen like that by people no more. God said, I'm tired of people picking on you. And you feeling like you got to fight because of it. And you feeling like you got to come after folk because of it. I'm going to make you whole tonight. In the name of Jesus. You got a good heart on you. I knew it the first day I saw you. I knew it the first day I saw you. I saw behind all the toughness, and I knew on the inside of there was a gentle giant. And you smart. Don't be afraid to show how smart you are. You can take this mind and use these hands and do whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. You need to start thinking right now who you want to be. And God said, you come to me with that, and I'm going to make you in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I give you praise tonight. I thank you for the spirit that's in this place. I thank you for your glory tonight in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for these, your people. I rebuke the lie of the enemy and I push back the hold that darkness wants to have on these people. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I declare that their faith in you is being pulled forward right now under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, I declare it in the name of Jesus. And God, I bless you for their future. I bless you for their future right now. God, you are the bright and morning star. Show us the way. You show us the way, God, we'll walk down the path. You show us the way, we'll walk down the path. God, you show us the way tonight, and we'll walk down the path. The name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to give God praise with the best way that you can praise him, okay? Start right now. Start right now. Start right now. Every day. Every day. Make it a part of your life. Don't be ashamed of it. Every day. Receive your pastor as he comes. Worship team. Pastor Josh. Wow. Man. We talk a lot about taking authority. He's been all over that tonight. You take authority. Dads, moms. You take authority over your home. You take authority over the, in the car. You take authority over your kids at the schoolhouse. You take authority. You have the power. You have the power and the authority.
Man, what a spirit in the house tonight. I, I, I don't know what, I, I know there, were, there are people, you, th things are busy. I don't know why, because we have the best equipment we can get. But for whatever reason, the devil, the devil wanted to kick this off of line tonight. Facebook's pretty easy to get kicked off of. YouTube's pretty hard, but it kept kicking everything off tonight. We, we're going to do the best we can to piece it together. I told Elisha, I said, he's like, everything's off. And I was like, see if we can record somehow. Because he might release a word over somebody that we want to go back and hear later. That was his little girl. I want, to, I want to make sure in the years to come she can hear that word. I know people have got a lot of things going on, but there is nothing like being in the house. I can tell you what the steak tasted like. I can tell you what the salad tasted like. But until you pull up to the table, mm -hmm. listen, I don't know what the Internet's going to do tomorrow night. And I don't care what the internet will do tomorrow night. But I know Jesus will be in the house. You better do what you can to get back here tomorrow night. Lord, I just declare blessings over your people. Bless them and keep them. Make your face to shine upon them. Bless their coming in and their going out in Jesus' name. Protection and provision over them, over their children. Multiply the sleep tonight. Give them energy for tomorrow. Peace over their home in Jesus' name. A spirit of frankincense over their home tonight in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Listen, love on somebody tonight. If you've been blessed and you want to give, give online or at the giving center. But have a safe night. Be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow night.